before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, today I will be showing you what is on my Christmas wish list because this has been a very highly requested video and I thought that I would kind of show you guys what is on my list to maybe give you guys some ideas of what you want to put on your Christmas list. I did have to make a Christmas list quite early this year because of Covid. I think everyone's kind of started Christmas shopping earlier honestly hi I've almost finished my Christmas shopping for everybody like I literally feel like this is the most organized Christmas ever like I feel so organized I bought all my wrapping paper got all my presents I think I might be putting up my Christmas tree soon which I'm kind of excited about because honestly I think we should all make the most of Christmas this year like to be honest it hasn't really been the best year ever has it so we might as well make the most of it but yeah um, on my Christmas list I do have quite a few things because I do like to look online for things that I like and then I get a bit carried away so there is quite a few things on here but I really hope this video will kind of help you guys add things onto your list if you are struggling but yeah without further ado let's go on with the video I apologize if you can hear like any noises of cars or wagons or tractors that's like my road is pretty busy where I live on so I do apologize but on my Christmas list I do have quite a long list because the thing is at Christmas time I think it's like the perfect time to ask for things that you wouldn't really usually buy yourself so I have made a list on my phone so like the first few things which I've asked for is a new set of makeup brushes because a lot of my makeup brushes are pretty ruined I will put a photo of the ones that I want on the screen right now but yeah I have asked for some new makeup brushes because a lot of mine I've had since I was around 15 years old the handles kind of breaking like the bristles are coming out because of the glue and I think it's just time to get some nice new brushes also I do makeup on clients as well however due to lockdown I cannot do that at the minute but yeah I do need some new makeup brushes the ones I put on the screen are like peaches and cream I do actually have some peaches and cream brushes and they are absolutely amazing like oh they are so good and they're really affordable as well so like yeah I am in need of some new makeup brushes because a lot of mine are like ruined and I've also asked for some makeup as well because I feel like makeup for girls or boys is perfect just for like stocking fillers you know if you want to try some new makeup so I have asked for a new foundation because the foundations I use at the minute are Maybelline foundations they are the superstar foundations but I feel as if I want to try out a higher end foundation so I have asked for the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I think I've asked for it in the shade Snow or something like that because it's really like a light shade and I am very pale um, I do actually have a Too Faced foundation but it's like a like a lighter foundation but I do like a good heavier coverage one so I've kind of asked for a new foundation I've also asked for a new bronzer as well because I do have a Too Faced bronze which is hip pad and I feel like bronzes are super expensive so I think I've asked for an Urban Decay one or Too Faced, honestly do not mind as long as I have a new bronzer because my bronzes are just hitting pad and I really need some new ones and I've also asked for the P. Louise Winter Edition bases so it comes with four bases, it comes with a pink one, purple, green and I think maybe blue or yellow, I'm not quite sure but I do actually have one of the P. Louise like bases but it's like the white one and it's so good for cutting the crease like if you ever want to try them or ask for them for Christmas I recommend like they are so good and, and I thought it would be a good idea to ask for like the colourful ones because then I'll be able to use them with colourful eye looks because I do like to do all sorts of colours in my eyes Um, so I thought that was a very like good present to ask for especially for Christmas and then speaking of makeup I have also asked for a glitter setting spray because I do actually have one but it's basically run out the one I've got at the minute is Candy Cosmetics but I would maybe like one from that brand again or the iconic one because I do love a glitter spray it does make your makeup look so much better and also it keeps your makeup on all day and I have also asked for some false eyelashes as well I feel as if every Christmas I just ask for like new makeup but I'm just obsessed with like makeup and I do use it a lot um, so that's why I asked for it but I do want to get some like new eyelashes like tatty lashes doll lashes some nice fake eyelashes because I do love my lashes as you can tell I do have some very nice ones on today um, so that is like the type of makeup that I have asked for for Christmas so fingers crossed I might get it if not it's okay um, 
Next on my list, I have asked for some new perfumes. If you know me, you will know that I do get through a lot of perfumes. I probably have about seven on the go at the minute, but I do use perfumes like super quick. So the perfumes I have asked for this year is the Scandal Air Paris perfume. Honestly, I smelt it in the shop in Debenhams and wow, it's such a lovely perfume. Like it's so gorgeous. Like it's kind of, it's kind of like a sweet scent so beautiful and i've also asked for the lady million as well because i do actually have that perfume but i've only got a tiny bit left and i got that perfume for my 18th birthday so i have had it a year it's lasted a long time so i've asked for a lady million and i've also asked for the valentino born in roma perfume because when i worked in the perfume shop last year on christmas i actually smelt it and it smelt amazing but obviously for christmas I do not expect all those perfumes, like I kind of added a few perfumes on there to give like the, the person who wants to buy me one, like a, like a bit of like a selection. Um, I do love all them perfumes a lot so I do not mind which one I get but I am obsessed with perfumes and I do like to smell nice so I feel like perfumes is something which you don't really buy yourself so I feel like it's a good idea to put on your Christmas list. And then the next thing that I've asked for is the Beauty Works Hair Waver. So if you know Molly May, you will know that she actually worked with Beauty Works and she's brought out, like, I think it's like a hair curler and then a hair waver. Well, I thought I would ask for the hair waver because I do love curling my hair. I do actually have hair curlers at the minute, but it's more for, like, curls. But this hair waver is actually baby pink. So pretty. And, it, oh, it's just gorgeous. And it waves your hair as well. So say like if I want to kind of have half curly, half wavy, I'd be able to use that hair curler for my hair. So that's why I've asked for the hair waver because I, want to, I just want to have a new hair tool because I do like curl my hair and wave it a lot. So that is a good thing that I've added onto my list. Um, and also, plus it's quite expensive. So I don't think it's something I would buy myself. Jesus Christ, coronavirus. The next thing I have asked for, which is kind of like like a general kind of present if you don't really have anything to ask for, is a new phone case because at the minute I do have a phone case which I've had for a few months and like the colours come off it. So I thought that would be a good idea to actually ask for a phone case. The phone cases that I like are like Skinny Dip ones, The Phone Case Company, Caseify. I do go through phone cases like that, like for some reason. They all seem to break on me. Like every phone case I've had, they've all seemed to like ripped or the the colours came off them. So I feel like it's a good thing to ask for phone cases. And plus phone cases also do protect your phone as well. So it's always handy to have a phone case on your phone. So next on my Christmas wish list, I have asked for some new jumpers because my autumn wardrobe is honestly so what's the word? I don't have enough awesome clothes pretty much. Like my wardrobe is so dated i do not have enough jumpers in my wardrobe a lot of the clothes in my wardrobe to be honest are pretty old some things which i've had since i was around 15 i also need to sort out my wardrobe to be honest so i have asked for some new jumpers because i feel as if i keep wearing the same jumpers over and over again which is obviously good because obviously if you buy a clothing item you want to like wear it again and again but I need some more like autumn clothes and I also have asked for a new pair of jeans as well, like a black pair because I do not actually own a black pair. I think the last time I had a black pair was when I was 16 but I really want a Topshop Johnny jean pair because those type of jeans fit me really well and I have I have actually had some Johnny jeans in the past and they have lasted a good few years so a pair of jeans is obviously really handy as well because I feel as if all my jeans are either getting a bit too tight on me or they're kind of like fraying and just yeah it's always good to ask for jeans so the next thing i have put on my christmas wish list is a typical alice thing to put on a wish list and that is a soap and glory gift set because every year i do have some soap and glory i do get a lot of it i do have a basket over there which is full of soap and glory like i've got all the shower gels exfoliators like body moisturisers, face washes, bath bombs, just everything you can think of, I've got it. Like I could literally open the Soap and Glory shop but I do love Soap and Glory and I do keep it and I do use it. And it just smells so good as well, I'm literally addicted. <laughs> so that's why I've asked for more Soap and Glory because it's just a classic thing. But if I don't get any Soap and Glory for Christmas, I will be buying a ton of it in the Boxing Day sales. I always do, I always go over the top of the Boxing Day sales, I always 
I always go straight to Boots and just get everything. Um, but yeah, but I've also asked for a Lush gift set, the Snow Fairy one, because I've never actually had the Snow Fairy shower gel or, any, or like any kind of Snow Fairy things, I don't think. I, I maybe have actually, but I can't remember. But basically, this Soap and Glory gift set comes with a bubble bar, a bath bomb, a shower gel and something else. But I can't actually remember and it's like £25. It's so cute, but honestly, that Snow Fairy scent, it reminds me of 2017 Alice, like, Sprinkle of Alice vibes. Who remembers them days? Honestly, Snow Fairy just brings back all them, like, memories, literally. But I do love Snow Fairy and it smells incredible. Like, I can just, like, picture the smell right now. Oh, the next thing on my wish list... <coughs> <coughs> croaky voice <laughs> so the next thing on my wish list is something which I obviously do not expect because it's a very expensive item but it is a pair of silver Tiffany earrings so you may be wondering you have got silver Tiffany earrings in at the minute these are actually fake ones but on my birthday off my boyfriend Scott he actually got me a Tiffany necklace which I've got on at the minute it's like the silver and then the pink heart and Oh my god, it's amazing and I really want a pair of the silver Tiffany earrings to go with them because you can tell these ones are fake and they're quite like small compared to the necklace. So yeah, I have also got the Tiffany website. Obviously I do not expect to get Tiffany earrings because I think they're like, don't even know, £200 which is crazy for a pair of earrings. However, I do... Um, keep earrings for a long time and expensive ones I will probably have for the rest of my life. I think I might ask for Tiffany earrings for my next birthday. Next few things on my wish list is a pair of slippers because every year I do get a, like a new pair of slippers because I do go through them like crazy. Like I got a, a pair of the River Island ones last year and these to be honest have, have lasted me pretty well. The things came off them. Um, however, like they are, they are still in really good condition but I do ask for slippers every year because I feel like it's nicer to just get a new pair of slippers to be honest. Um, because I wear them in the house all the time and I do get very cold feet in the winter time so I feel like it's such a good idea to get them and I've also asked for a new dressing gown as well because I also do get a new dressing gown I wear them so much and probably go in the wash about 10,000 times because the amount of makeup and food I get in them so I did ask for a new dressing gown as well because I feel like it's just such an essential like such a typical Christmas day present to get for yourself do you know what I mean so yeah but here is the end of my wish list for 2020 honestly I really hope that this video has kind of helped you gain some more ideas of what you want to get for Christmas if it has make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel as well and I will see you all in my next video bye everybody